Hi everybody, I'm JT. Welcome to a frosty morning here in Salisbury and another video from me here at Campervan Journey. Today we've got something really exciting happening. We've got a, a modification coming that we're going to test out on the van which will hopefully help us get a more um, versatile usage of the rear load area. Gosh, so cold, the boots frozen closed. So we have a modification coming today which we're going to try out which will hopefully make the storage area in the rear of our California beach a little bit more versatile and practical to use. So stay tuned to see what we're going to fit and how it's going to work. So one of the things that we absolutely love about our California is its versatility as a family vehicle. We've got a huge boot in the back, which is obviously great when we're away traveling and camping, but from a day-to-day -day basis, it also provides tremendous versatility. So generally speaking, we have it set up like we've got at the moment with the um, multi-flex board in the back that acts as quite a useful shelf. Using the rails that we've got, we can slide the seats backwards and forwards into many, many different positions. The shelf there also enables you to load up on top. But all of this gives us a lot of versatility and practicality when we're traveling, whether it's locally or on longer trips. So what we're gonna try it with the tray that we're gonna fit in a moment is to see, try it out over the next few days and see how much practicality and versatility it adds for us in our day-to-day -day use. So I'm sure there's going to be some pros, I'm sure there's going to be some, some cons, but stay tuned to see how we get on. So we're going to be trying out the Spacemate over um, a few different situations and scenarios, the day-to-day -day usage uh, in this video, and there'll be another video with um, a more adventurous uh, setup when we're going to be traveling down to the French Alps just to see how it works when we're more fully laden with cargo. If you stay tuned to the end of the video we've managed to get a discount code if you're interested in uh, ordering one from the guys at Spacemate so hope you find the video useful and uh, again just drop me any comments or feedback below as to what you think about what you see. Okay, so one of the things that we need to be able to do um, regularly with our van is to load in our dog crate to take honey out and about. And um, whilst we've been testing the Spacemate, we needed the practicality and versatility to be able to put our dog crate in. Dog crate is a reasonable size, so I'm just going to work out what's going to be the best configuration for us to do that and how we're going to load it. So the dog crate at the moment is not going to fit 
I thought potentially there was the option for it to fit behind the space mate before the door. Uh, we could slide the space mate forwards um, on using the adjustment on the runners that uh, we've seen in the installation of the tray. And so what I'm going to try now is just move the seat forwards and then fold down the bench here and then be able to move that forward a little bit and see how that works. So I have actually had, in order to adjust the position of the frame, I've actually had to remove the lock nuts that were on the top and the washers and then that's um, enabled me to access the T-bars which are underneath. So i just loosen this one off now and then I can slide that forwards and then we'll try and reconfigure. So after a bit of fiddling around and adjustment and me getting my eyes lined up and straight, I've moved the uh, the frame for the tray forwards by about three inches. So I'm just going to slide the tray forwards, lock the multiflex board into position as to where that would sit, and then fingers crossed, we'll uh, all be good to go. Okay, so let's get everything loaded up for our trip. Slide the space meat out. We're off to Wales today, so plenty of wellies and waterproofs will be required, and the dog treats. Perfect. And then we bungee the crate in. And now all we need is the dock. She's getting a bit old now, so we'll give her a hand getting up. There we go. So I'm happy with the way that everything's been organized and laid out. And uh, she'll settle down when we're on our trip and yeah, all looking good. So we found the Spacemate tray over the last few days in day-to-day -day use to be really good. It's given us loads of flexibility. I love the way it can slide backwards and forwards. I like the fact you can see it's retained some dirt and muck in there and it just sort of fits in. And I think having spent some time working out the best configuration for day-to-day, um, I've been really, really impressed. Now we've been um, able to grab a discount from the guys at Spacemate. So if it's something that you're interested in, uh, click on the link in the description below to jump onto their website. And if you enter the code campervan10, you'll get 10% off your order. But uh, let me know, I'd really like to hear what you think uh, based on what you've seen on the video or if you've got something similar, but give me feedback back in the comments would be great. Now we're going to be trying out the Spacemate on a longer trip away, which will be completely different in how it fits in and works. So uh, stay tuned on the channel to watch that video, which will be coming up in uh, a few weeks time to see how we get on when they're fully loaded Hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have, remember to hit the button to like and subscribe and follow us here on Campervan Joe.